What's motherfucking good? It's your boy, Playboy Hitch Jr., AKA HC. And this video is gonna be about all this men's knowledge about women, about all this, you know, bettering yourself, how to become a better man. Don't become a misogynist in a damn process. I see a lot of people in these communities, since I guess they might have be coping with this type of red pill information, or this beta information, or this black pill information that these people are having. Everybody, some people trying to cope, some people trying to teach others, some people trying to use it for their own agendas. But I see some of these channels see the supporting feminists, you know, becoming misogynists, or it's just so many different combinations. But while you're indulging in learning this information, coming across people's different experiences and stories, don't become a misogynist, man. Don't think women are the god damn worst thing that ever happened to this planet and you gotta hide in your room and goddamn master be like don't think like that have faith you watching this screen right now you are just a goddamn average joe you are a human being you got some goddamn soul pulsing throughout your freaking bloodstream man be fucking positive don't be goddamn become a misogynist all right Here's some fucking ways that you might catch yourself becoming a misogynist. All right, you can freaking, say for example, you might be finding yourself walking outside, interact with a female, I'm sorry, interact with a woman. You see, you catch yourself saying female, 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 female. That misogynist goddamn mindset is already taking over. No, slow, slow your roll. If you find yourself saying female, Cause women don't go around, hey, look at the group of males out there. Look at the guys. Look at the crew. Look at look at the group. You don't go around screaming female, 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 female. You know what I'm saying? Female is the sex. Male is the sex. Now with gender, you have feminine and then you have masculine. Alright? So conf don't confuse those things. Just refer to, to keep calling individuals men and women. Don't goddamn scream female, female, female. That's rule number one on how you catch a guy yourself becoming a misogynist. Rule or scenario number two, you objectively, you don't really be objective when you're thinking about scenarios. Like since you may be a guy watching this, you'll be extremely biased towards a man's point of view. That's just the way it motherfucking goes. Some of these individuals that think about scenarios, they think about, okay, these women would do some crazy stuff. So if it was accessible to me, I would do that stuff. Don't ever think like that. You don't have the same chemicals coursing through your body as they do. The hormones are different. Lifestyle is different. If you are a woman, of course, you would practice hypergamy. You wouldn't inherently do it. You would freaking unconsciously do it because it's based on as a human you just want to have a better life for yourself all right you don't goddamn walk around with condoms because all right i just want to have raw sex every day no you want to think about what's best for you for yourself protect yourself having that being said don't be goddamn objective make sure to remain objective all right if you're saying you're 100% objective when it comes to interaction between women and men in different scenarios, that's bullshit because you haven't lived life as a woman. You haven't lived life as a goddamn woman yet, all right? Now, what's the third different freaking situation where you can find yourself becoming a misogynist? All right, you may see interactions with women, and even though you're not saying it out loud, you find yourself... Okay, being a ju good judge of character is different than freaking criticizing people in your head all damn day long, all right? Being a good judge of character is essentially you observing, you witnessing a situation, a scenario, people bickering and talking, but not freaking like some of the other people in these communities. They probably observe, see these things that they see, report it on Reddit. Oh, I don't like this type of behavior. I don't like this, sounds like that. Man, just go about your business. Don't be worried about them. Worried about making your money. Don't goddamn be right here 
in your head gossiping. That, inv that invites negative ass behavior and traits, man. Being a good judge of character is different than just criticizing people in the back of your damn head all damn day long, all right? When you judge someone's character, you see basically how reliable they are, what type of situations you've seen them in, what type of character mode they usually kind of fit. That's different than freaking criticizing women bantering and talking. You know, woman nature, people different natures, it all comes into play. But don't goddamn be shaming them for the behavior. Freaking, you become aware of this almighty information based on goddamn YouTube, and then you wanna go out in public and go test it out for yourself not having the correct context and just obviously labeling people inside of a box. That's another way some people might catch themselves being misogynist. Some individuals may be freaking only interacting with women based on school. They might not have siblings. They might not have a mom, souls. Man, these people, some of these individuals might have transferred from being antisocial as fuck, get rejected, and then they try to cope in an incorrect way. The best way to cope is to work on you. Numero motherfucking uno. This is traffic is bad as hell. Numero uno, work on you. Work on striving to become the best you possible. That's the best way to cope. You can become a little bit more aware of individuals and situations and become more wise when, when doing things in the future by learning from others. Like you can see people getting divorced, raped. You, you kind of see a reason why they become misogynist and think a freaking male as goddamn almighty. First of all, we're both men and women are right here, all right? They're both right here on the same playing field. No one's no better, no one's no worse. The trait of the person may, take, may dictate who's worse and who's better, but goddamn forget about that. All these people being scarred out here, they have a goddamn reason to be misogynist. If you got divorce rape, like Coach Greg Adams says, he has a reason to, to feel, you know, have his guard up. I'm not saying he's a misogynist, but he has a reason to have his guard up when interacting with individuals and seeing a reoccurring theme occur within his life on a consistent basis and seeing with other people. He has his reasons and experience, but at the end of the day, catch your goddamn self. Don't become a misogynist. Life is too short to goddamn push yourself in a box. Stay off the grid. As a human, it's all about adaption, all right? This fucking shit is steaming. Holy moly. Can you see it? That shit's steaming. All right, guys. I'm motherfucking catch y'all later. I'm not trying to miss my turn. Be easy.